first flies that I ever learned to tie, the Zebra Midge is a classic. Here are the tools and materials that we use. The TMCO hook, 2487 in size 20. A 1.5 millimeter tungsten bead in silver. Simperfly classic wax thread in 12 aught in purple. Simperfly tying wire in 0.2 millimeters medium bright silver. Scissors, a bodkin, and a whip finish tool. Let's get started. All right, let's tie this zebra midge. <clears throat> this is a great beginner fly, but beginners, experienced tires, and anglers all fish this. We actually caught uh, caught a couple fish on this fly this weekend. So this is a wonderful fly to have in your box and a great fly to learn a lot of techniques on. So I definitely highly recommend uh, for new tires to to tie this fly, but tie it multiple, multiple, multiple times. So in the vise, we've got the TMCO 2487 with a 1.5 millimeter silver tungsten bead. And we'll go and get started. So with our purple thread, we're going to start right behind the bead like so. We're going to do one wrap and then we're going to wrap back towards the hook bend about four or five times. Take our scissors and we'll cut it off like so. Now with our wire, I'm gonna pull it off the spool. And make sure you pull off enough that you can actually grab onto it. Because you can tie multiple flies with one piece of wire. And if you'll run your fingernail down through the wire like so, that'll pull off any that'll work out any kinks that might be in it. And just grab it and break it off like so. There's no need to um, to use scissors when you're cutting wire like that. So we'll take our wire, we'll cross it over the, uh, the, the hook, like so, and then we'll pull it to length to our right behind that bead. <clears throat> now with our thread, we'll work right back up to the bead. Now that wire is locked in. So I'm gonna spin my thread counterclockwise, and if you ever wanna know which way that you need to spin your thread to uncord it, just grab a bodkin, pull it up, hold it like so, and then bring it back towards you. And the way the, the bobbin spins is going to uncord it. So you'll just spin it more that way. If it doesn't spin like mine didn't, that means it's already uncorded. So we'll hold our, our wire on top of that, um, the hook shank. And then with touching wraps, we'll work our thread back to the hook bend. Now make sure that when you're, <coughs> when you're wrapping, you don't go too far down into the hook bend. You want to go about halfway or so, maybe one more, and that's plenty. If you go too far down, then you start impeding the hookability of the hook. You don't want to do that. Now we're going to work our thread right back up, just the way we came, all the way to the bead of the hook. The bead, yes. <clears throat> all right, so now we've got our body pretty much done. Now we're gonna put a couple more wraps right behind that bead, and I'm gonna bring it, bring the thread back about three or four wraps, like so, and then right back up, like so. What I'm trying to do is not necessarily build a taper, because all this fly is, is one wrap, of, one layer of thread down, and one layer of thread back up, and wire, and then whip finish. But if I don't put a few wraps of thread right behind that bead, then the bead's kind of wobbling around and that's not very good. So we're just trying to build a little bit up there. Whatever you do, don't try to build a taper into this thing. Don't try to go all the way back down a handful of times. Remember, just one wrap of thread down, one layer of thread down, one layer of thread back up. So now we're gonna take our wire and we're gonna bring it down, straight down, and we'll bring it around that hook point. Now we'll bring it up. Now we want roughly six wraps of wire if you do five, that's fine. If you do seven, that's fine. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and we'll stop it there at six. And we'll, we'll use our, our thread. We'll do three wraps, like so. 
Now I'm gonna pull the thread back to me and hold it tight. And this is where I'm going to helicopter the wire off. I'm gonna put one more rapid thread here. Now I'll just kind of see. We'll look around at the fly, see how it looks, make sure we're good. Now I'm gonna put a couple more wraps right here just so I want just so I'm building up a little bit behind that bead. So now we take our Sally Hansons and make sure we've got our whip finisher handy. Take our Sally Hansons. Oh boy. And brush the thread. So you can see the little beads of, of Sally Hansons there. And now we'll whip finish. Four, five. And cut off the thread and there we go you've got a finished zebra midge <clears throat> and that's it at the end of the video there'll be another list of the materials and the tools that we use uh, but feel free to substitute any materials that you would like on this on this fly if you have if you got any questions about this fly feel free to reach out to us uh, in the comments and um, make sure to catch us live here Wednesday nights on, uh, on our show called Whip Finish Wednesday. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So we look forward to seeing you there and happy tying everyone. Bye-bye.